ArcelorMittal South Africa swung to a half-year loss, blaming the country's electricity crisis, high inflation and weak demand from key steel-consuming sectors. The company lost 40% of its market value last week after it warned of the massive loss in an update. However, since then, its shares have recovered almost half of that loss. The steelmaker accepts that its response to the much lower domestic demand was inadequate. Nastasia Arantza spoke to Kubis Fester, the CEO of ArcelorMittal South Africa. I think the, uh, the the negatives in terms of the results is obviously uh, steel prices. Internationally, prices came off, and uh, Arslo Metal followed that pricing trend. So that uh, 8% reduction in average prices had a 2 billion rand impact uh, on our earnings. Um, in addition to that, although volumes were up, uh, domestic sales were down by 6%. But I think also just the absolute quantum of, of sales is still low, given the low level of apparent steel consumption uh, in South Africa. And then obviously the last was the, the cost increase, uh, raw materials up 1%. So typically in the international terms, you see the raw materials follow the price decline, but we haven't seen that uh, in our accounts yet. Um, give me a sense of the toll the power crisis has had on the business. I think the uh, power crisis is almost threefold. I think firstly and the most uh, detrimental is the fact that it, it negatively impacts on demand of steel in the country and just the general uh, consumer confidence. So firstly, uh, it's part in play in the low economic activity. Uh, secondly, is the impact on on uh, production. We had uh, more than 40 uh, instances where we had to reduce our production uh, due to load curtailment. And obviously in an integrated facility that's substantially disruptive uh, from a cost perspective in, in, in the operations. And then lastly, you know, the, the constant high tariff increases is starting to weigh in uh, on the profitability of the organization. On that note then, I mean, if many of our viewers go into your bio, they'll understand that you have uh, more than 20 years of experience in the industry. From your perspective, how complex is South Africa's steel market and where are we on the competitiveness? I think we are, well, I think uh, firstly, the domestic environment is, I think, more complex than many other jurisdictions. Uh, from a cost competitiveness perspective, I think we are able to 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 if if we have a marginal increase on volumes, we're able to compete uh, uh, on from a cost perspective fairly effectively, given our raw materials, given our assets. Um, from a, a transport perspective and from an energy perspective, those are two elements which give us a, a reasonable disadvantage. Uh, versus international peers. Right. I mean, costs are a big deal for a steel producer. And I suppose in an industry as volatile as yours, um, what's more important? Is it productivity and profitability or is it growing revenue? No, I think you can grow revenue only off a competitive cost base. So uh, in a commodity business, you need to be cost competitive. And that is obviously depending on your input mix, uh, raw materials, uh, as well as other big cost drivers. But then you also need uh, a decent amount of volume. Uh, in our business, volume gives you that additional uh, dilution of fixed cost, but it also gives you a, 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 an operating rhythm whereby you can really uh, improve on your variable cost uh, in terms of efficiencies. Right. So in the next 6 to 12 months here, if you to give me an outlook uh, of the trading environment, what are you expecting? And as a result of that, what are you and the team going to be focusing on? Uh, I think from a volume perspective, I think firstly, seasonally, it's normally a better uh, period. So I think we should see, uh, if not flat, but improvement in the volume side. I think internationally, the price environment is, is as low as it can get. And I think there's a more likelihood of a bit of price increases. 
How that will play out locally will all depend on the exchange rate. A, a, a stronger exchange rate will affect us uh, negatively. So the second half, our focus will be uh, on cost containment, uh, but also uh, in managing cash. The balance sheet uh, is at levels that we are uncomfortable. So from a working capital capital perspective and other initiatives, uh, we will focus on improving our net debt position.